Or Sachinandan means Radha and Krishna. Without Radha, how you will understand Sachinanda? Sachi Sut Gauranga. Gauranga means Gaurangi first, then Krishna inside. Maharaj, we are class. Please. Jai Radha. Vrindavan is a temple of Braj Bhumi is temple of Radha. If Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead, then he is not in Poland. He is. He is not in Japan. He is. He is also not in Italy. He is. We not come for Supreme Personality of God. Prabhupada said to us to come Vrindavan to understand Krishna more better by mercy of Brajavasi. By mercy of Brajavasi, whose mood never go out from the Vrindavan. They can ex- explain you about Krishna, that will be easy to understand. Like eh, some person is living with someone, eh? and somebody is far from someone. It's difficult to understand who is far, and somebody is living with him, he is the family member of that place. He can explain more career than who don't know about him, no relation with him. Because he has a relation and I have no relation. So I have to go to the person who has a relation to understand through the relation how he see that person, how he see Krishna, how to understand him, because he is related. Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita, I start with this, and in one page four he write twenty-one time about relation. And so he say, you, after reading this not understand, if you don't go to Vrindavan, this relation only will revoke by the mercy of association with their related people, who is related. He can show you how beautiful relation happens. Material relation not worse, but a spiritual relation never ends. That is the difference. You try material relation, after some time some blockage will come. You change again blockage will come. You try to make best, it will not come. But if you develop a spiritual relation, it will never end. Forever, not in this life only, you fixed your place to go back to home. You fixed your place to back to home. And you are become happy, you are liberated from now, because you know where to go. Death is no problem for you. You will not worry to die. You already die because you know the place to go. Death is not big job. My Krishna Prabhu, 
how to die is teaching. And it's naturally, if you make in relation, you don't bother for dying. If you know your home, where to, you, from your coming and where to go, you fix. Very great, mercy of Prabhupada. He write everything easy way to understand. Now one thing I want to say. He likes to saw Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Vihari. Right? You see his songs, Jai Radha Madhava, he always sing. Second, Bajahu Rema. What is the first line? Abhay Charan. Because his name was Abhay Charan. He liked this, that he is singing this. And last line in this song, Pujan Sakiga, Atmanu. What is with this? Worship to the Sakhis of Radhika. Sakhi means friend, not Sakha. Somebody say is Sakha, bogus. <laughs> he say worship Pujan Sakhi Gan. <coughs> and if you want to offer, Atmani Vedan means offer yourself in the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. This is the meaning. And one meaning I say you, Jai Radha's Madhava. Radha Madhava is Radha's Madhava. If he is not Radha, Radha's Madhava don't worship. He is not your Krishna. Who is Radha's Madhava? He is your Krishna. Is there any other? Huh? Is there any other? He knows he no say Jai Madhava Kunja Vihari. Okay. He says Radha's Madhava is your Kunja. Kunja is a very high subject. He never mentioned details of that, but he give one point. Now you search this. <laughs> Kunja is there where Radha and Krishna is making his pastime. There is no Sakha, no mother, no Sakhi can enter. That is the Kunja. Only Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari can enter and the who qualified, blessed by Rupa Rati Manjari, they enter there. That Radha Madhav Kunja Vihari. This is Kunja Vihari. Kunja Vihari who live in the Kunja, that Vihari means who is the enjoyer of that Kunja is a Vihari. And the enjoyed only Biharin. You see the Vihari ji temple? This is Vihari who lives always in the Kunja. Means the Kunja living is Bihari. Who never go out from the Kunja. Third, what the highest? <coughs> but you have to know from where it's come. Gopi Janavallava. If you are initiated, Diksha, you know this ma mantra. From where is coming this word? Is a word of Gopal Mantra. First part and second part. He is telling to the followers, a coming generation, that first part, who is in Basel Rasa and who is in Sakya Rasa. 
who likes to worship, worship Krishna like a mother and who likes to worship Krishna like a friend, that for them is the first part. Start with the cling and it goes first part. And who took the shelter of Radhika, who took shelter of the Zupanuga, for them is Gopi Janavadava. You see, remember in your mantra, you can see. There are two parts. So he said, no, no, first part not practice. But practice second part. This is your mood. <coughs> How deep these words and meanings are, Prabhupada. You can understand. You living here or other places? You live here? Ah, good. In the second part. Now, how deep you want to know this meaning, you will search that way. What Prabhupada moved, what, how, his, how much his realization was. Now, Madhusudan, Madhusudan Maharaj from Narayan Maharaj, he write a book published three days ago, and he explained this book, uh, all the proof that Prabhupada was a sak Sakya, Sakya, and uh, also other member of the Parampara was a sak Sakya. Because he, he had a dream in the night, Prabhupada, appear to him and tell uh, I am a friend of Krishna. So from this moment he started to research and uh, found all these things. <laughs> no, Krishna will never quite on this. They want to Say Narad Maharaj is in the Radha Dasyam and Prabhupada in Sakyabha. It's too much. Then our lineage becomes devil. We are follower of Prabhupada. We are we are not means is a Narayan Maharaj never say like that that Prabhupada is coming from Sakabha. Is a Rupa Anuga. Our line is Rupa Anuga. How he can be a Sarkha? It's all confusing words. I don't want to involve the, this institution business. <laughs> because this is, institution is, has to decide. We saw this. Huh? We saw this yesterday. You see the book? No, I didn't see the book. I, I saw this yesterday when they came in. Parmayati Swami came in and they were having discussions. Huh? What Parmudaji Maharaj agree with this? Yeah. No, no, no I, I saw you, my Many friend. don't understand this. <coughs> huh? I saw you, my brother. You were, you were sitting and listening. Yeah, yeah. where? Yesterday when Paramahiti Swami was here, you know, they were talking about the organizing and everything. It was a, like a political talk. I don't know these things. <laughs> I know. I don't know this. They come this book. This is a favorable of Prabhupada or against Prabhupada. 
No, it's it favorable, but he only try to prove <coughs> that uh, not only Prabhupada was a Sakya, but also other member of the Parampara. I, I, I don't have seen this book, uh, and honestly, I not have interest in this book, but uh, they tell to me this, and uh, only this. I think don't touch even book and don't listen. <laughs> He's listening apart, touching apart, to talk about Prabhupada this way. Prabhupada is our everything. Because without Prabhupada, you cannot connect with the Western world. He is the Acharya of Western world. Nobody can become Acharya. Masudan Maharaj will never become something. He has to come under the Prabhupada to understand by his grace, his books, his mercy, his blessing. <coughs> Impossible. Maybe he has to take hundred but to be company at him. He is associating with him, those people. He goes there, Masudan Maharaj every place. I love everyone. Huh? I love everyone. Our Prabhupada is so good. He's in Saka? No. I don't think the Prabhupada is coming. Oh, this is the topic. <laughs> you also said he's a Prad, Vaishnava Prad. If you listen, as you said, no, no. with those people. Mm. Vaishnava Prad. A Prabhupada Vaishnava Prad is the greatest. Oh, yeah. Don't do this. They do what they like. I don't go because of that. Useless to waste your time. Read some Harikatha. <laughs> How to get the Radha Dasya free? Prabhudanan Sarsati. In the beginning or everything? Beginning, beginning. You have to know from beginning. Sorry if I tell you about this, but just because one friend uh, told to me. Close that up. See, Sri Radha Rasa Sudhadidi. The nectar ocean of Sri Radha's flavors. Kashila Prabhadananda Saraswati. The first one. I offer my obeisances. Sit here. Sit. Yeah. I offer my obeisances unto Lord Gaurachandra, who is surrounded by all his associates and whose body is studded like goose pimples of ecstasy that mock the beauty of blossoming kadamba flowers. Slowly, no very fast. You are not reading the novel. Very slow. One by one word read, many will translate. I offer my obeisances. I offer my obeisances. It goes inside to you. Hmm. Unto Lord Gaurachandra, ah. who is surrounded by all his associates. Yes and whose body is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy that mock the beauty of blossoming 
Kadamba flowers. He raises his hands. Understand first you say, I explain about this life, read. I offer my obeisances unto Lord Gaura Chandra. Gaura Chandra. I want to pray Gaura Chandra. <coughs> Why? Please, many people become sick, you have to turn that side. Yes. European don't like this fan, so you have to sit in that place and 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 you have to ask. Yes, European body don't accept the air. American body need fan. Indian body also need. <laughs> turn that way. You have to small put then turning that way. There is a big and a small. You pull the smaller one. Yeah, and stop it that side. Uh, and then you sit there, nobody will bother. Air will come. <laughs> Go there. Thank you. <laughs> then it's will... pathetic, I know, but okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, what I can do. I offer my obeisances unto Lord Gaurachandra. Mm. Who is surrounded by all his associates. Surrounded with all his associates. This time they all appear who, who never can get the fortune to enter in Maharaj. They all appear surrounded to Gaura. They all appear. Hanuman appear, who always, all the time, Radha, Ram Bhakta. Vishnu appear, Shiva appear, Narad come. Narad was always worshipping Nara and Nara. They all get the chance at the Gaura. When Gaura appear, he comes to help us. They all his associate of every circumstances who not get the chance in a Krishna Leela to enter, they all appear in Gaura. This is the first time you hear it. They appear. So I, what I do, I am giving respect, Dandavat to Mahaprabhu, what Gaura. Gaura means? Radha and Go. Go means Govinda. Who is not known, Radha is important, then is a Gaura. Go first, Rath, Bhakti. And who understand the importance of Radhika, then is Gaurangi, Gauranga. Gauranga means? Gaurangi means Radha, Gauranga means who took the male body who become Gaurangi. They be, he is Gaurangi, Gauranga. Gaurangi become male, Gauranga. Radhika come in the form of male. And Krishna is inside. You see? I respect to this all who appear associate of the who wants to associate to, to 
Radha and Krishna. Yeah. Who is surrounded by all his associates mm. and whose body is studded with goose pimples. Yeah, ecstasy. goose pimples, ecstasy. They are in ecstasy. Never happen is happening to them. Something happened in your life is unexpected, then booze people searching, here is standing, will come to you. Can I uh, just give an information maybe for what is in have interest? In the evening time, today is Nagar Sankirtan in Ananda Dam with a, a, ho a horse and a kirtan and everything that somebody is interested to go. Nama, if na somebody, Nagasan. if they listen, who would like to go, they can go. Where? Only two. I was thinking, I come here, I was thinking to inform you, so you know. <laughs> Where? Uh, another time. Okay. I think Prima is there too, everything. In the evening time, now is Prasadam there, Pandara. And then in the evening time, I think five o'clock it starts with uh, Kirtan in the street. This is okay. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. You see, there is two things. <laughs> that is also Nama Sanketa. <laughs> and this is also going inside. When you want to go inside, always disturbance will come to go out. <laughs> Both are service, good service. <laughs> you can choose. <laughs> you have so to choose, choose what you want to do. You want to go out, <coughs> you want to go in. <laughs> in hand, in, in selection is in the hand. You want to realize, or you want to just only going processing? <coughs> yeah, both of them. A stage of consciousness. <coughs> One is a beginner, he will like to be there. Because it's a pre pre preparatory school. Prabhupada say, Temple is a school to learn preparation. And one is to go more deep to understand. Yeah. This evening, you will come to Samanja. <laughs> Just to be clear on the choices. Whose body is studded with goose pimples? Loudly. And whose body? Give mic. Give mic. No, he has to go inside. The word should go inside. Then it will work. It's a meaning of the word. Every meaning you have to feel it. It's a feeling. Why become we are material? We are no feeling. And whose body is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy that mock the beauty of blossoming kadamba flowers. Uh, I'll speak louder. Maybe if you can switch off the fan, then it's more... No, no, no. Uh, I'll be louder. It's, 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 it's fine for you now? I'll speak louder. It's okay for you now. <laughs> he raises his arms repeatedly and loudly crying Hari, Hari, and he dances and sings, showering the surface of the earth with cascades of tears. Now question is this, if he is a Krishna, Hari means Krishna. Mahaprabhu, God is Hari. If, if he, he is shouting loudly, Hari, Hari, 
if he is Krishna, why he will say his name? <laughs> My question is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? I had the same question when I wrote yeah, the You see, <coughs> this is the this is to understand. Gauranga bolite hobe pulakasari. This is the meaning. Why Gauranga bolite hobe pulakasari? Oh, great mercy. Gauranga, Gaur na hoito, Keman hoito, Keman dharitam de. If Gaur not appear, what is going to happen? Keman dharitam de means they means body. Body means a spiritual body. Keman dharitam de. A spiritual body who can show us Radha Rasa Mahima, the Rasa of Radha, who is going to clear Peme Rasa Sima, how much limit of the Prema Rasa? Jagate, Jagate Janato, okay? This is the Goranga mercy, what happening, and that is. Goranga bolite hove kulaka sari. When I realize this, then when I will remember Goranga, I will be in ecstasy. And then Radharani himself become Goranga. Goranga. Gorangi become Goranga. Kulaka sari. And Hari Hari bolite. Nand Bahani means inside Hari is also there. When I will see this Nand Bahani in one, both are there. This is the meaning of this line. Goranga Bhurite Have Pulaka Sari. O Radhe, you come by the Goranga. And Hari, O Krishna. You also with Radhika and appear as a Gauranga, Tanya, to help us. <coughs> Hari Hari Bolite Dhan Bhai. Comments. Shripada Prabodananda Saraswati mm. is the object of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's great mercy. Yeah. Object of it. Gaur is Mahaprabhu. He got all mercy from Mahaprabhu. So he is writing Radha Rasudhari. You know, about Radhika. Who can write without Radhika? How he can write? Na? To Gauranga Mahaprabhu as a Radhika, give the message to Prabodhan and Saraswati to explain more about Radhika. So his mind and heart are always absorbed in the sweet pastimes. Pastime, not philosophy. (laughs) (laughs) Sweet pastime. Absorption only in in the pastime. Philosophy is to hammer inside by philosophy you can break your Ignorance, passion in goodness. Dharma, artha, kama, moksha, this philosophy can break this to to develop your liberation. But not liberation is our goal, not goodness is our goal. Hmm. 
if you see goodness is not making a goal of our life good is pure goodness and dharma artha kama moksha is not good our goal is pancham purushat fifth effort loving relation huh? again i have to bring this bhagavad gita prabhu bring i'm telling because you are also there read the prabhupad bhagavad gita samma into introduction I arrange a chair for you. Bring one chair. This is good? No. Okay. You sit here so I can see it. Come. Please come here. Come here. Near to me. No. Is it? You see? You see? introduction page 4 here the lord clearly tells arjuna that he is making him the first receiver of a new parampara this is bhagavad gita starting because the old succession was broken <laughs> it was the lord's wish therefore to establish in another parampara in the same line of thought that was coming down from the sun god to others and it was his wish that his teaching be distributed anew by arjuna he wanted arjuna to become the authority in understanding <coughs> the bhagavad gita so we see that bhagavad gita is instructed to arjuna especially because Arjuna was a devotee of the Lord a direct student of Krishna and his intimate friend you see third word mm-hmm. you understand devotee or not you know the direct student you know we all are our students direct to our gurudev but intimate friend that is to do that is missing in our life intimate friend of this and and his intimate friend his with a big is yes this is the missing point understand intimacy is not there passive relation is there intimacy means like you are he this is the intimacy when there is no any privacy that is intimacy and this should be with krishna not other place huh next one therefore bhagavad gita is best understood by a person who has qualities similar to arjuna's yes who is intimate man no read the prabhupad word i don't believe your word <laughs> it's what he said do no, read that <laughs> that is to say he must be a devotee in a direct relationship with the lord you see that the point direct relation with the lord yeah. not in direct understand or not direct i want relation with you <laughs> with lord good thing you want direct relation with radha yeah yeah Oh, Lord means Radhika. <laughs> Mahaprabhu is Radhika, then Krishna. That is to understand. Is a very 
वेरी ट्रिकी परकिया भाव आवर भाव इज परकिया कृष्णा मीन्स टू स्टार्ट बॉयज हु इज नॉट टू इवन ए बी सी डी सो दे हैव टू कम थ्रू कृष्णा कृष्णा इज ए स्टील he will steal and bring to radhika <laughs> because god love is god without love what you will do with god god is a passive relation if love is not there only it will become business the direct relation is important what you understand what i want to say very specifically we become devotee we become nice student serious student but not direct relation is there that relation is very passive that is the only problem in my life As soon as one becomes a devotee of the Lord, he also has a direct relationship with the Lord. You see, again. Yes. As soon as one becomes a devotee of the Lord, he also has a direct relationship with the Lord. Yes. You are my. I cannot be without you. That is dying. I like every day to read this page. <laughs> every day, is every day give new energy. You know, Bhagavad Gita is as it is. How the words are there? Go on that way. No, add your words. Huh? This is true. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> That is a very elaborate subject matter. Oh my God! <laughs> only this is the only subject matter <laughs> to understand. You understand all philosophy. <laughs> But briefly it can be stated that a devotee is in a relationship with the supreme personality of God at it in one of five different ways. One may be a devotee in a passive state. Prabhupada is basically like right because many are passive states. One God consciousness passive. One may be a devotee in an active state. One may be a devotee as a friend. One may be a devotee as a parent. One may be a devotee as a conjugal lover. Yes, understand? <coughs> yeah. Direct, then you can be a conjugal lover, a mother. Without direct, you can be a mother of Krishna. Never. How you will become conjugal lover if third person is there? Arjuna was in a relationship with the Lord as friend. Of course there is a gulf of difference between this friendship and the friendship found in the material world This is a transcendental friendship Ah yeah. this this is the friendship this is the motherly love and this is the conjugal love this is divine transcendental 
is not based on material, which cannot be had by everyone. Of course, everyone has a particular relationship with the Lord, and that relationship is evoked by the perfection of devotional service. What type of your relation you can evoke by behaving? You cannot behave different way. What is your relation? You will act like that in day-to-day -day life. Your action will so. <coughs> but relation is only with this. Like see the Jesus life. His relation as a son and father. He never say God to Father, you are God, I am adoring you. Never. Show me any place in Bible. Bible he no right, but never, nobody can write other word, Father, because he was Son. This is his sarup, his spiritual form. He see father and he see whole family of father. This is relation and he was, devotion was that, in that relationship. That is devotional practice. And this is spirituality means there is no difference with any religions. Why I am quoting Jesus? If it is a difference, you cannot David. His God is there, Father is his Father is God. And he is showing with that. And that God is Krishna. God means Krishna. God. <coughs> but in the present status of our life, not only have we forgotten the Supreme Lord, but we have forgotten our eternal relationship with the Lord. Ah, because no devotion are like that. We do something, we think something, we do something. Because no relation. <coughs> Understand? We have to fix and then nothing will problem will come. All will become favorable. Your life will become favorable. You see your husband, he was in dying bed. When he realized his identity, his pain was Big pain, but he did not feel that so much pain always. Because his mind is fixed some other place. He's husband. One year before I see him, he's smiling in the face, full of pain, but face is smiling. He knows where he has to go. He fixed in his spiritual form. He only merited that to go. He was happy in going. He said to her, no cry. Be happy. I am going to my home. Prabhupada, <laughs> Every living being, out of the many, many billions and trillions of living beings, has a particular relationship with the Lord eternally. That is called Swarupa. You see? Now we have to search what is the meaning of Swarupa. The form of the soul is Swarupa. Form of Krishna is also Swarupa. If you have a Krishna form, you have a deity, and your form is only soul, then you cannot relate. You 
problem, your form, then you will fall in love with him. Because he has a form and I have no form. Because of so. And when you will get the form, you will fall in love. Jesus got the form of son, he fall in love. He don't know his father form. He see his father form. He was not looking like. You ask to any son, you know your father form? He said, yes. Yeah. He is my father, I cannot see him. But you will not see because you have no relation. Only son can see to his father. Mother can see to his son. And conjugal love can share with his conjugal lover. Beloved can see his lover. No other. That feelings only two conjugal lover can understand. If you have a, this feeling, you will see him. That form is necessary. If form is not there, then is only light cannot develop relation with this light. Is the I see from twenty years both light are there. <laughs> By the process of devotional service, one can revive that sarup. Yeah. What is my devotional practice? I want to be a conjugal lover. Then I will process to become Radha Dasi. My practice to become mother, I will see him as a son. I want to be a friend. I will see the life of Subal and Sridham. I will act like that. And that stage is called Swarupa Siddhi. Yeah. <coughs> Siddhi. Siddhi? What is the use of the life if you have no perfection? Wasting <laughs> your time. It's better to live and do the business. <laughs> Forget. Perfection should be there. Prabhupada say, you know yourself and perfect in your form, your sorrow. That is the meaning of his spiritual life. Perfection of one's constitutional position. Yes, constitutional position. Words by words. Vani, goldest, golden vani. Make it and keep it like a tabij in your neck and read every day. Always. Jai Prabhupada. Read again now. Chetan Chetan. This is Sarup, I say you to understand. <laughs> Huh? Now, now Radha has to die. I try to find about this only he mentioned in Bhagavad Gita or other places. He took from Chaitanya Chaitanya many times these words. Srimad Bhagavad, how many times come if you go in computer and do, you can see that. Every place you will see this teaching of him. Go and search this, then you will feel how important is it. <coughs> this is the foundation and this is the, you see, this is sambandha, relation. Avideha, not this physical relation, it's divine relation. Avideha. And the Pariyojan, the end of your life, Pariyojan means the goal of the life, is Sarup and Sarup Siddha. 
all three things he mentioned in one page. <laughs> so beautiful. You read this before? Yeah. Understand this? <laughs> Ask from Sachinandan Maharaj, this is important or not in our life? Then he will say, he knows about that. Śrīpāda Prabodhananda Sarasvati is the object of Śrī Chaitanya, Chaitanya Mahāprabhu's great mercy. So his mind and heart are always absorbed in the sweet pastimes. Atti- of Radha and Krishna. Because Mahāprabhu, Radha and Krishna together, he never go to the Dārka mood. Braja Līlā. Radha and Krishna, when Radha is there, he is not go Kurukshetra. He don't go Dwarika. Okay. Yes? Gurudev, but why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in separation when Radha and Krishna they are together? My dear, when Radhika is not going out of Vrindavan, he not go to Kurukshetra. No, no. He don't go to Dwarika. Yes. When we go to Dwarika, means I am in Krishna, in Acharya Bhav. Is Narayan yes. Krishna Upasana. No, I mean. Then you are Rukumini Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in separation. Separation <coughs> in a mood of Radhika. Radhika feels separation. But Krishna, both are there. How can huh? they feel separation if both That are is the beauty of love. <laughs> You have to understand one month, give time to me, then you will understand. Separation means living together, lovers, and they want to separate each other for one hour, then it's feeling separation. They are not separated, but the lovers' intense love, you feel moment separation. This is the meaning of love. You don't want to be out of one minute. Radha is sitting in the lap of Krishna. You see this picture? Yes. And they are not looking at each other's face, they are crying. They feel that Krishna is not with me and Krishna is the sit- lap. Radhika is sitting and see Krishna is tears. Why? Because Radhika has gone someplace. See, they forget that they are sitting together. When they see the face in water, then they recognize. <laughs> they are so much in concentration of meditation of each other. Is a love. Intense love is like this. Love when become intense, then you <coughs> feel separation. Huh? The other night we wrote that Krishna feels every second like Brahma's life. Four billion years without Radha. So just thinking about this and... Yes, feeling. It's an intense feeling of meeting and intense feeling of separation make intense meeting. Madhanakya bhav means this. We have no bhav. Then we try to feel. Bahamas, no feeling in ourselves. So material mind becomes. We have to increase our feeling in life. Chaitan Chaitamrit whole is to create, develop your feeling. So his mind and heart are always absorbed in the sweet pastimes, <laughs> attributes and sentiments of Srimati Radharani in Raja. Ah, in Braja. Radharani in Braja. There. This is the teaching. Why to come Vrindavan? Always meditate that my Swami is living in Braja, so I am coming for her, to learn from her how to develop feelings in my life. 
intense that feeling in life, how she has feeling for Krishna. Without he, she is the guru. She is the real master, the teacher. Then you say, Guru there? Yes, Guru Dev is there, but he is a servant of Radha. Real Guru means servant of Radha. Prabhupada is teaching. Yes, Prabhupada is teaching, but he also is a dasi of Radhika, servant of Radhika, kinkiri of Radhika, the smallest servant of Radhika. So his voice and teaching is the same. To increase the devotion, to learn from the Radhika, you become so qualified by the practice that you become servant of Radhika. You develop feeling that you can <coughs> qualify to become servant of Radhika. And what is the qualification? You become servant of Radhika. Anartha nivritti? No. Greed. Greed to be a servant of Radhika is only qualification. You have a greed to become servant of Radhika, you will become. Not that your anartha will go, then you will become. Anartha will never go because my senses are there, my body is there, my mind is there. They will never bring me out from anartha. At the time of death, body, anartha will stay. Dying position, anartha will not go. Nanartha can only go <coughs> by greed of the Adhadacha. Now he begins his delicious book of eager prayer named Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. Out of compassion for the devotees who aspire for the confidential service of Srimati Radharani's lotus feet. In this verse, he praises his worshipable deity, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. <coughs> Raja Vihari Sri Krishna accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha and became Gaura to fulfill three desires. To understand the greatness of Radha's love, the wonderful qualities that she alone relishes in him and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. In Vrindavana Lila, Krishna was the witness of the sweetness of Sri Radha's love of which he himself was the object. And in Gaura Lila, he accepted the mood and the luster of Sri Radha to understand the gravity of her love. Yeah. And why? That we have to understand. Krishna is telling in Krishna Lila, you want to understand me. And in Gaur Lila, you have to understand the mood and gravity of Radhika's love. So beautiful. Read again. <laughs> so beautiful. To understand the greatness of Radha's love. No, no, first Krishna. Mm -hmm. Raja Vihari Sri Krishna accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha and became Gaura 
to fulfill three desires. Mm. To understand the greatness of Radha's love, mm. the wonderful qualities that she alone relishes in him and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. In Vrindavana Lila, Krishna was the witness of the sweetness of Sri Radha's love, of which he himself was the object. And in Gaura Lila, he accepted the mood and luster of Sri Radha to understand the gravity of her love. In the opening verse of his book, Radha Rasa Sudhanidi, Sri Pada Prabodhananda Sarasvati <coughs> draws a beautiful picture of how the full transcendental truth of Raja, Sri Krishna, experienced the sweetness of Radha's emotions. Wow. Here, Sri Pada follows the custom in the Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition to praise Lord Gaura before commencing the description of Sri Sri Radha Madhava's sweet pastimes. This is called Gaura Chandrika. In his book, Sri Chaitanya Chandamrita, Sri Pada writes, When a very fortunate soul experiences devotion for Lord Gaura's lotus feet, the nectarian ocean from Radha's lotus feet suddenly floods, floods his heart. Sri Gaura Sundara has brought an unprecedented torch of Vraja Rasa, whose bright effulgence shows the devotees the way to the sweet bhajan of Sri Vindavana, which is otherwise hard to see and along with that sweet transcendental Raja Rasa. <coughs> Mahaprabhu introduced himself to the devotees of this world. Sri Vasu Gosa sings, If Gaura had not come, how would the world have been? Who would have taught the world the greatness of Radha and the limits of Prema Rasa. Who would have shown the way to enter into the sweetness of Vrindavana and the anxious mood of the young girls of Raja? The only way to extinguish the burning sensation of the threefold material misery caused by the elements one's own body or mind, or by other creatures. With the nectar stream of love for Sri Sri Radha Govinda is the mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu. In this verse, Sri Pada Prabhadananda describes the sattvika ecstasies of Sri Gaura Sundara as he takes pleasure in performing kirtana. Srila Rupa Goswami defines this sattvika ecstasies as follows in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. When the heart is touched by emotions directly in the form of the five basic relationships of servanthood, friendship, parenthood, etc., or indirectly in the form of the seven secondary moods which are which such as laughter, chivalry, etc., et related to Krishna, the wise call it sattva, and the emotions coming from that are called sattvika bhavas. The Lord had accepted the mood and luster of Sri Radha and had become the main shelter for his own rati. Therefore, the sattvika and other bhavas had become fully manifest in him, this is confirmed in Chaitanya Charitamrita. The Lord had become the main shelter of his own rasa, and so all ecstasies <coughs> arose in him. Sri Pada sweetly depicts 
how Sri Gauranga's body displayed the unrivaled ecstasies derived from relishing the sweetness of Radha's rasa within himself by saying, Nindatam Pulakotkarena Vikashan Nipa Rasuna Chabim. His body was beautiful, his body was beautified by goose pimples that mocked freshly blossoming Kadamba flowers. Mahaprabhu's body manifested Udita Satvika Bhavas. Srila Rupa Goswami says in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, when five or six Satvika ecstasies simultaneously arise to the greatest extent, they are called Udipta. Again, Sripada says, He lifts his arms and loudly chants, Hari, Hari. This is an Anubhava called Roshana. Srila Rupa Goswani says in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Activities that awaken certain moods in the heart are called Anubhava. When Rati is relished within the heart, it will be externally manifest. The echo of Mahaprabhu's loud chanting of Harinama immersed all the moving and non-moving creatures in the taste of love of Krishna. Yeah. <coughs> Srila Haridasa Thakur revealed his secret of the loud chanting of Harinama. All the moving and non-moving creatures have heard your loud chanting. Hearing it, all the moving creatures were liberated from material existence. And after the non-moving creatures hear it, there is an echo. It is actually not an echo. It is the chanting of these non-moving creatures. Ah. All these indescribable things are possible by your mercy. Mahaprabhu dances with restless feet and sprinkles the earth with his tears. The Padakata singer Raya Shekhara describes the sweet dancing of Sri Gaura Sundara and his associates as follows. How sweet is Gaura Kishora, the youthful golden Lord Chaitanya. How sweet is his dancing, how sweet are his associates. How sweetly the drums are playing, how sweet is their rhythm. How sweetly the devotees are maddened by transcendental mellows and how sweetly they sing. How sweetly he moves, how sweetly he swings and how sweet are his steps. How sweet is his beautiful words and how sweet is his radiance. How sweet are his lips and how sweet are his smiles. That defeat of sweetness of the moon. How sweet is his eagerness. How sweet is his love and how sweet are his words. How sweetly his reddish eyes are making sweet hints. Unfortunately, Raya Shekara is deprived of this sweet love. While Mahaprabhu dances, his eyes manifest the sattvika ecstasy of Ashur. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is described how Mahaprabhu manifested this ecstasy while dancing before the chariot of Lord Jagannath. Tears were flowing from his eyes like fountains, sprinkling all the people that stood around. This sattvika transformation is so wonderful that one may ask, does the Ganga water that normally flow, flows from his Lord Vishnu's or the self saint Sriman Mahaprabhu's lotus feet now flow from his eyes. The Lord not only taught the world about Prema, He also gave a splendid example of how to relish its flavors. The Lord 
is the wealthy owner of the Chintamani gem of Prema. The people of this world will be blessed with initiation into the mantra of Prema by voluntarily selling themselves to the lotus feet of that sweetly, blissfully dancing and chanting Sri Gaura. Even the stones melt when they remember how sweetly Lord Gaura dances and how he rolls on the ground like a, go like a golden mountain. All glories to Sri Gaura Chandra, who gives joy to the world, who is the moon of Gaura Mandala, the holy circle around Navadi, and whose body is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy that are as wonderful as blossoming kadamba flowers. How nicely Gora Mahaprabhu dances, repeatedly lifting his arms and loudly chanting Hari, Hari. A stream of tears flows from Gora's eyes and sprinkles the surface of the earth. Thus, Sri Pada Prabhadananda Saraswati begins his Rasika book, Radha Rasa Sudhani, by offering his repeated obeisances to Lord Gaurahari and his associates and witnessing his Kirtana pastimes. This verse serves as the auspicious invocation of this book. It is the highest wealth of all the devotees and it makes them happy by remembering and hearing it. Decorating his body with the dust of his Guru's lotus feet, Haripada sings these poetical songs. This is the end of verse 1. Yeah. Shall we go on? More one? Uh -huh. Would you like more? Verse two. <laughs> Can you read more slowly? Yeah. Can you read more slowly? Yes, Not of course. <clears throat> Even Lord Madhusudana, Krishna, who is hard to attain even by the best of yogis, feels himself greatly blessed when he is touched by even the slightest playful breeze coming from the tip of Sri Radhika's garment. I offer my obeisances to any direction in which I may find this daughter of Maharaja Veshavan. <laughs> Comments. Would you like me to read again the second verse? Yeah, was was it again? Even Lord Madhusudana Krishna, who is hard to attain even by the best of yogis, feels himself greatly blessed when he is touched by even the slightest playful breeze coming from the tip of Sri Radhika's garment. I offer my obeisances to any direction in which I may find this daughter of Maharaja Vrishabhan. To bring to Krishna. To say about her. Shri Pada Pravadananda Saraswati is the object of Sriman Mahaprabhu's unlimited mercy. Therefore, he is conscious of the elevated Ujvala Rasa, Erotic sentiment. Erotic sentiment of Vraja and thinks of himself as a maid servant of Sri Radha in the forest bowers, Kunjas, of Vraja. Sri Pada Kavi Kanapura has written in his book, Gaura Ganodesha Dipika, that in Krishna's pastimes, Sri Pada Prabhananda Saraswati was Tunga Vidyasaki, one of Sri Radhika's eight chief girlfriends. But while reading his book Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, we can see that by Mahaprabhu's grace, 
his heart was filled with the astonishing rasa of a maid servant or kinkari of Sri Radha. This is the most beloved practice of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Cold. Radha Snehadika or Bavala Sarati. Srila Rupa Goswami explains in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. When Radha's girlfriends love her as much as or less than Sri Krishna, then their Sanchali Bhava is called Krishna Rati. But when they love Radhika more, it is called Bhavalasa. This Bhavalasa Rati is the Sthai Bhava, permanent and chief mood of Sri Radhika's maid servants. Radha's Nehadika means that they love Radha more than Krishna. This is what the Gaudiya Vaishnavas desire. In his Vraja Vila Sastava, Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami writes, By offering her betel nuts, by massaging her feet, by bringing her water, by arranging for her secret meeting with Krishna, and by performing many other services, the maid servants lovingly please Sri Radhika, the great queen of Vrindavana. When Radha and Krishna make love, they don't feel shy before they, these maid servants, although they do feel shy before their girlfriends, that are otherwise dearer to them than life itself. I take shelter of these maid servants that are headed by Sri Rupa Manjari. Yeah. Wonderful. This book, Radharasa Sudranidi, consists of Sripada's prayers in both Sadaka Avesha, the more external consciousness of a practicing devotee, and Siddha Avesha, the internal consciousness in which he is aware of his internal spiritual body as a maid servant and or girlfriend of Sri Radha. Sometimes we will see him in the fortunate condition of having direct transcendental communication with Sri Radhika. And sometimes we will see him eagerly praying for such a communication in his Sadaka Vesha. But even in that Sadaka Vesha, there is a strong vibration of his identity as Sri Radha's maid servant by saying, I offer my obeisances to any direction where I may find Sri Radha. Sri Pada prays for a blessing upon all the sadhakas of the world who meditate on Radha Krishna's Vrindavana pastimes. May their sacred desires be fulfilled. One may ask now, why does Sri Pada call Krishna Madhusudana in this verse? It's, it's that indicating Krishna's divine prowess, Aishwarya, and it's that contrary to the sweet mood of Madhurya of the Vrindavana devotees. The answer to this is, the name Madhusudana also means Madhu Pushpa Rasam Sudayati Kandayatiti Madhu Sudana. Shri Krishna, who drinks the honey Madhu from Radha's lotus like lips, just like a bee. <coughs> the pastimes of Radha and Krishna are hardly perceived even by the kings of yogis like Mahadeva, Lord Shiva, and Lord Brahma. Chaitanya Charitamrita states, the pastimes of Radha and Krishna are very confidential. They are not even perceived by Krishna's own servants and friends in Vraja. Only his girlfriends can enter into it. And it is they who expand these pastimes. <coughs> Just as Sripada thinks, 
Will I be so fortunate to witness those sweet pastimes of Madhusudana that cannot even be perceived by the kings of yogis? A spiritual revelation comes to him by Sriman Mahaprabhu's grace. He sees Sri Sri Radha Madhava playing their pastimes in a lonely bower of Vrindavana. Yeah. After these pastimes, Sri Radhika sits up on the bed, looking like a flower garland ravished by a bumblebee. Rasika Siromani, Krishna, the crown jewel of relishers, becomes compassionate when he sees how tired she is. But this is not the kind of compassion a lover usually has for his girlfriend. That can be understood from the Srila Krishna Dasa Kaviraja's commentary on the 18th verse of Bhiva Mangala Thakura's Krishna Karnamrita. There it is said, Sri Krishna personally thanks Sri Radhika to soothe her fatigue and his lotus eyes that are naturally reddish because of drinking honey wine become white out of compassion upon her. When Srimati is in a controlling mood known as Swadina Bhartika, she orders Krishna, quickly dress me. My girlfriends will ridicule me when they see me in this condition. Understanding the situation, the kinkaris come and bring sandalwood pulp, a guru, aloe, musk, koliorum, footlack, and other items. Rasika Shiromani now becomes absorbed in dressing and ornamenting Srimati. Swamini Radhika slightly smiles when she sees Rasika Nagara's absorption and the kinkaris giggle covering their mouths with their veils. While dressing Srimati, Shyama repeatedly looks at her face with tear-filled eyes. He cannot get enough of relishing that sweet face of hers. Srila Vishwanatha Chakravarti Pada says, Although Krishna constantly drinks the nectar from Radhika's moonlight face, he can never get enough of it. He always remains thirsty for more. While he paints collyrium around Radhika's frisky eyes, Shyama starts to sweat. Although he is fanned by Radhika's restless eyelashes, he still sweats. Therefore, Sri Radhika orders Sripada Prabodhananda, who stands by in his kinkari form to fan Krishna. Krishna's sweat drops dry up because of her expert fanning. And then Sripada thinks of a funny prank. He begins to fan in such a way that Radhika's fragrance enters Shyama Sundara's nostrils. <laughs> Even Shyama considers himself to be blessed by catching a whiff of the edge of Radhika's garment and he thinks to himself, Oh wind! You are blessed. You are rightfully called Gandva, Gandavaha, carrier of scents. Now you carry the scent of the precious musk on Srimati's breasts. I wish I was that lucky. When the Kinkari sees Shyama's condition, she is immersed in an ocean of transcendental bliss. One of Swamini's names is Gandomatida Madhava, she who maddens Madhava with her fragrance. Now Sripada has directly is experienced in the kingdom of Lilas how suitable that name is. Suddenly his transcendental vision stops and he laments, Ha ah, Rade, where is now the honey sweet play of yours? Humbly he prays, I offer my obeisances to that direction from where 
Shri Radha's fragrance that maddens even Madhava comes. O oh, direction, show me my Praneshwari, the queen of my life. At certain times, Shri Radhika lives at her in-laws, a boat named Yavata, which is halfway between Nandagram and the present town of Koshi. And sometimes she stays with her parents at Bhashana, 40 kilometers west of Vrindavana. The Braja devotees that are fixed in Smarana know exactly in which direction they can find her, on what day and what month. To that direction I offer my obeisances. All glories to the wonderful girl whose fragrance maddens Madhava. All glories to her auspiciousness, beautiful holy name. How wonderful is her dress that carries the extraordinary fragrance of Madhavi flowers. Glorious, glorious is the breeze that carries the fragrance of the edge of Radha's garment. Glorious is the breeze that gives this fragrance to the abode of Krishna's nostrils. O oh, direction, tell me in which kunda, kunja the queen of my heart, Sri Radha, rambles with Sri Madhusudana. Even Krishna, who enchants even Cupid, and who is hard to attain even by the kings of yogis, is maddened by the fragrance of Rai's, Radha's divine body. That is the end, verse number two. And there is another passage. I offer millions of obeisances again and again to that kunja where Krishna's dearmost Sri Radhika, the tender daughter of King Vishabhanu, the queen of the Kunjas, who worships Krishna with her love play, meditates on Krishna and desires his company. Then I will be very happy. Sripada Prabodhananda, who relishes the nectarian bliss of Bhajana, reveals this Radha Rasa Sudanini. <laughs>